Hey everybody, welcome back to Avity Autumn, the stunning Miss Lady Pop Hunter here with another weekly roundup taking a look at some of what is hitting the adult collector's market soon. Also, announcements. 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 Uh, next live shared chat mm -hmm. will be tomorrow. Tomorrow night and Or seven. today, whenever you're watching. <laughs> uh, Saturday, November Saturday. 26th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and yes. we will be talking to Alan, who is the comic collector geek mm -hmm. and that is the name of his YouTube channel and he has a rather surprisingly impressive yeah. vintage comic book collection. Yeah, so we're going to be talking about comic books, guys. So yes. comment your comic yeah. questions, questions and be prepared to, to talk about everything comic books. And also other announcements, uh, and that's next Saturday, right? Yeah, yeah. Toy Swap Meet in Powder Springs mm -hmm. from 10 to 3, December 3rd, which is a show we do recommend. Yeah. Uh, so if you happen to be out there, say hi. And then after that, the very next day, very next day. Sunday, December 4th, the Conyers Toy and Comic Show, which is their first Annual, mm -hmm. maybe it'll be annual. I think it'll be all right, but we will see. Yeah. And we'll, of course, we'll be filming both of these. Mm -hmm. So maybe you'll check that out if you happen to be in the area. Yeah. But we'll go ahead and we'll get started. And we'll start off with Beast Kingdom, who also has a Gargoyles license now. Because when I first saw this, I thought it was the NECA one. But it's not. I thought um, Super 7 did those. It was NECA? It was NECA. Oh, okay. So, yeah, Beast Somebody Kingdom. Somebody else with yeah, a license. One twelfth scale, which makes it about almost eight and a half inches tall. This Goliath lights up, though. His eyes light up. Okay. And he's going to be in the 105 category. Mm. $105 category. I think it's interesting that they made him have light up eyes, though. From Blitzway, <clears throat> another interest, another musician from Blitzway, because they're the ones that did the Jimmy, uh, Jimi Hendrix, I think. They did a Kurt Cobain also, only unlike Jimmy, Kurt gets more than one head portrait because this is an action figure, mm. one-sixth scale. Is See, that rooted hair? It looks like No, it. it's a solid piece. Okay. It's it a solid like piece. It. But because the Jimi Hendrix only had one portrait with the eyes closed, and I thought that was kind of a, puts it at a disadvantage because mm -hmm. you can't do as much with it. 325 for the Kurt Cobain. That's a good likeness. It actually looks it, pretty it good. It is a good likeness, actually. Yeah. And that's his accessories, because he comes with the glasses, cigarettes, guitar picks. Um, Watch. His lanyard for his stage pass lanyard. is a, <laughs> a lot of bits and pieces there. Mm. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. So for three twenty five, at least you get some variety, although I think that's kind of pricey. Yeah. Oh, that's him again? This is also from Blitzway, but this is a quarter-scale statue, mixed media, so he's fully dressed. That's from the MTV um, Unplugged. Yeah, it says superb scale from <laughs> Blitzway, Kurt Cobain. This is $760. Wow. $760. So if you're into that, because Grunge Rock died with him. It sure did. Yeah. They didn't do it anymore. Damn Toys. More of their Gangster's Kingdom, and this is from the Heart 6 Augustine line. The Devil Man. He is naked. Uh, oh. That's all you get. One-sixth scale. And, you know, Gangster's Kingdom, they've done a bunch of figures. Six scale. Seventy-five dollars. So I guess you just go buy some clothes from Yeah, you can dress them up however, but I mean, seventy-five dollars yeah. for the figure. No ab crunch. Mm -mm. You ain't moving him around <laughs> no. too much. And then here is their other one. Um, again, Heart 6 Augustine. They don't tell you a specific name for this character. One-sixth scale comes with everything you see there. He's got the exact same tattoo as that devil figure that we just saw on his chest. Hmm. This is 210 Hmm. A lot of accessories there. Yeah, and a jacket. And what I thought was interesting, he has a kind of a Jason Moama... Uh, vibe to him. Yeah, right there. Right, yeah. his, uh, his facial features. How about Enterbay? Okay. More sports figures, one-sixth scale. Enterbay Stephen Curry. Enterbay Stephen Curry with all the accessories shown. 
At least he has a halfway decent stand because I hate those ball hugger stands. That's that uh, flexi stand. Mm -hmm. So it, they're actually kind of sturdy. There's his accessories. He's got a couple of trophies, some different basketballs. And that couldn't have been cheap. Why? Because they get the Mountain Dew logo, All-Star logo, uh, NBA logo, all those logos. Everything that you put on there is a, is a slice of the pie. Well, what's the price? 320 Yeah, see? Yeah, that's <laughs> it adds up. <laughs> yeah, Nike logo, everybody's yeah. on All there. those logos are, are going to mm -hmm. vie for uh, a piece of the royalties. More 1-6 scale figures. This time taking a look at XO6, who took over the Star Trek license from QMX. And this is Quark from Deep Space Nine. Who, funny enough, if you've ever seen the actor, still kind of looks like that without the makeup. Oh, yeah? <laughs> you could tell it's him. But, uh, yeah, Quark, 1-6 scale. A figure you probably never thought they would do in 6 scale. But um, XO6 is pulling, pulling from all of the Star Trek properties. All of the original Star Trek properties to make figures. I think they're doing the new ones, too. I think mm -hmm. I reviewed one. 215. And we'll jump into Funko. Okay. And for a company that announced, that shot themselves in the foot by making that announcement that caused their stock to drop, mm -hmm. they are cranking pops well, out. Well, they have to put out the stuff that they already had planned. Yeah, well, uh, they usually, around the holidays, kind of cut back. Mm -hmm. But now they're really pushing it. You'll, you'll see here in a minute. Okay. Here's your Friday, fun, uh, Friday, Funko Friday Justice League Aquaman going to Target. Uh, again with the artistic scale. Uh -huh. There is your famous covers uh, of the Joker. Cover. Yeah, I is. like that cover. Yeah. CCXP twenty two Funko Limited Edition. This What's is that part a con? of their beach bash. For, uh, their beach bash. Is See? that a con? I don't know. CCPA? I think it is, but I don't know which one it is though. Mm. And I don't know who that is either. Because it says do Brazil, and it's I think it's a Bra a, a Brazilian con. No. Oh. But at the end of this, you can get the shared exclusives. There's Hush. Mm -hmm. You can get the shared exclusives all over the world, and you'll see a list here at the end. Oh, okay. Arwen, uh, Lord of the Rings, Hawkman, with and without his helmet. Oh, they race swapped him. Yes. Black Adam. A character from Bleach. One Piece with the ship. Black Clover figure. My Hero Academia. I thought that was a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> no, My Hero Academia. Oh, okay. Nice try. Yu Gi Oh! Loki with the crocodile or alligator. Spider Man, another version. Star Wars Andor, and which is the new show. Mm. Simpsons, <laughs> one of the bully kids. I like the Simpsons pops. I never got any of them. Yeah. I'm not going to, but I do like them. Treasure Planet. And here's your shared exclusives, and we'll just run through these real quick. And if you need to, of course, guys, you can always pause if it applies to you. There's your United States shared, Brazil, mm. Canada, and they're stretching this one, watch. UK and Europe, mm -hmm. locations. United Kingdom and Republic of Ireland. <laughs> Golly. Yeah, and it's still going to go. France. Uh, yeah, they're they opening up that door, ain't yeah, they? Yeah, they're trying, yeah. Belgium. Well, I mean, it, and I understand it, too. A lot of places overseas have complained for a long time that they can't find the stuff. Mm-hmm. Or people don't ship there because, you, you know, order shipping is super yeah. expensive from the United States. Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Spain and Portugal. But you're still not giving them <laughs> all. You're giving no. them like a, a here. You it's can have some up. little some little trinkets. Yeah, Italy. <laughs> yeah. That's still messed up. It is. <laughs> A regular pop Funko Shop exclusive uh, Dorothy from Black Co Clover. Mm -hmm. See a lot of pops. Mm -hmm. Naruto and uh, Lady uh, Tsunade. That's an anime exclusive. Triple yeah, A. Triple A anime. More NBA. Another LeBron James. At least they got the names on it because people yeah. don't be knowing who they I wouldn't are. know who any of them were. Mm mm. Spider-Man No Way Home. I like the metallic on the um, Green Goblin. Yeah. There's going to be a lot. These are the, your exclusives here. But here's mm -hmm. your Amazon three-pack. And is a three-pack. Yeah, of course. Because you got to get all three versions. In one box. The Walmart eight Oh, my pack. God. Eight? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Walmart eight-pack. Isn't that guy Harry Potter? No. Oh, who is the that? The haircut looks like Harry. That's Dr. Octopus. Mm, I don't know many people. <laughs> you saw the film. Did I? Is that the one where he went to Paris? Or Europe? I didn't. I haven't seen No Way Home. I saw the one where he went to Europe on a school trip. Keychains. Now they're going to separate it. Yeah, these are them separate. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yeah, bought those box and sticker this collectors. This is why people are annoyed with Funko. Yeah. Because of these games they play. Here's more uh, regular loose ones. Wicked games. Wicked. He's wicked. You're from, you're from like, you're from like Revere Beach now. That's wicked. I don't <laughs> know what pops. Revere Beach even means. In Boston. Oh. When people make fun of the Bostonian accent that they're mm -hmm. supposed to have. They're either if you're from South Boston mm -hmm. or Revere Beach or mm -hmm. somewhere like that, you might sound like Cliff Clavin. Mm -hmm. But the rest of people in Boston really don't because I'm from Boston and I don't talk like that. John Kennedy sound like that. John Kennedy sound like and I don't understand that either because he was born in Brookline. Anyway, there's your target uh pop and tea. He wanted Set. to be in connection with the people. Yeah. With the common people. He wanted to be, yeah, I guess. <laughs> We're talking about Funko Pop. Another My Hero Academia Hot Topic exclusive, and that's uh, what? Uh, Ten. Duna? I don't know. Star Wars, uh, I, I don't know, poster moment? Because that is the original movie poster. Luke oh, Skywalker with R2-D2. Oh, he has R2-D2 with it. Oh, no, okay. that's not the comic. And that's it. Oh, my God. Yeah. I guess that's it. Yeah. yeah. Next, we have Mafex. Mm -hmm. Mafex with a couple more 12-scale figures. <clears throat> Hush Poison Ivy. And she does come with a briefcase full of cash. <laughs> that's a decent-looking sculpt mm. on her head. $110 for Poison Ivy. She comes with two head sculpts, but you almost can't tell the difference. Because the other one is just kind of a smirk. Mafex does good figures. I have um, a Mafex The, the Batman, figure. Mm -hmm. correct. But, the, I mean, it's not a bad looking sculpt, actually. They got the shoulder where she can raise her arms all the way up. See that? Yeah. Double slit? Yeah. And then David will talk about the seams. I can yeah. see the seams. Those are, some seams. Deep, those are some deep seams, though, since you brought it up. <laughs> also from Mafex, the T-800. Does yeah. it come with a motorcycle? No. The eyeglasses are removable. Mm -hmm. Also 110. A lot of accessories with him. Uh -oh. Including the box of roses. Which is significant to the film. So now you need a 12 scale motorcycle. Couldn't hurt. How about Mattel? How about Talk it? about Mattel. Mattel with their snake series now. They're getting into the Snake Men renditions. Masters of the Universe Snake Armor He-Man, which is kind of a nod to the 200X, really, because mm -hmm. they did a lot of that kind of stuff. Yeah. And then Snake Men Cobra Khan. And Rat Lore. 
which these are in the $19 range. Yeah. Because the price is going up, folks. Suggested uh, retail. Suggested retail price. And then your, there's your Thunder Punch He-Man, who is not $19. But he's 25 24 no, okay. Close enough. Twenty four ninety nine. <laughs> is it? I don't know. I don't know either. And then there's your uh, Whiplash. No packaging, but it's supposed to be part of that series, I think. Okay. How exciting. Mego. Haven't shown anything Mego in a while. Got a couple of these, even though um, some of this stuff's already showing up for pre-orders, but then the, uh, the a certain Mego page, I will not name it, uh, is telling people to take their images down because they're not ready yet but it's already up for pre-order so bite me <laughs> uh, there's your <laughs> there's your Telosian and then there's uh, Pike which makes sense if they're going to do the Telosian and the Andorian at least they put in a figure of the person on the box. Oh, picture. you remember when they first yeah. came out, everything was Kirk, no matter who was on the in Yeah, the that's package. right. And those are uh, photographs from the original, like, 60s Star Trek. So, mm -hmm. yeah, fair enough. That's a good observation. And an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Army builders out there, anyone? <laughs> Maybe about 500 of those. Somebody's going to do that. Mondo, you're breaking my heart. Why are you showing this? It sold out. Because it was released this week. Oh. But yes, it did sell out because it was a limited edition of 1,500 pieces. And man, they just keep cranking this stuff out. We talked about that a lot on our live stream yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, yet another release. Back-to-back -back releases now with Mondo. And just like with the Battle Cat and with the She-Ra, I had to let it go because it's just not in the budget. This is this was 235, limited to 1,500 pieces. I would have liked to have gotten one, but I've had to walk away. I don't think I'll be ordering any more Mondo figures. Oh, wow. Even though I like them, it's too much. Because, look, they had this year already uh, three Hordax. They had this figure they had another version of he-man they had the battle cat uh they had the 40th anniversary she-ra the 40th anniversary um he-man mm -hmm. that's six right yeah i think no seven mm -hmm. and then they and they still have the, next yeah we saw the projections for yeah. next year yeah, and some of those main, you know, you've got your trap jaws coming up and the panthor, and that's going to be another 500, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. It's too much. And this is something we were afraid, you know, getting on a, off track a little bit. We were afraid this sort of thing was going to happen when Funko bought, the, bought Mondo out. Now I'm afraid for them to finish up their Universal Monsters because I was hoping that they would get back to that because yeah. they had put out the creature from the Black Lagoon, what, a couple of years back and then they didn't put anything else out and I was like, man, I hope they get back to it because those were really nice figures. Now I hope they don't. Yeah, <laughs> because they'll then, crank them. They might put all of them out in one year yeah. and then you're like, hey, wait a minute. Yeah, I wanted you to put them out but not all at one time. Not for no two fifty a piece. And that was really my argument. I really yeah. like this, mm -hmm. but um, it, it's too much too soon. And we're yeah. going from like two or three a year to seven already and yeah. more coming. Yeah. And it's like, wow, I, I just can't do it, unfortunately. Oh, we'll, we'll bounce to Super 7. And Super 7 has Conan the King. That looks good. If you remember at the end of the first Conan film... They uh, they faded away to an aged Conan sitting in a throne, mm -hmm. with, um, and they s talked about it and said that's for another story. And Who's they, that, James Earl Jones? That is Arnold Schwarzenegger, oh. Conan the King. Mm. But uh, you do James that. James Earl Jones was dressed like that in sitting on the throne. No, he wasn't. Oh. <laughs> this is Ultimates fifty five dollars. And it also alludes to, because they've been talking about it for a few years, doing a final Conan film with Schwarzenegger to wrap up the series. And if you want his throne, it's being sold separately. 
Come on. The throne and the poodow. That's what Wicked kind of, game. That's what kind of spear that is. Uh, is 45 so an extra 45 bucks if you want the throne to finish off the diorama I know <laughs> also from Super 7 <sighs> the notorious B.I.G. making more money now than he ever did when he was alive the notorious B.I.G. figure is also $55 <laughs> I never thought he was there. I like the song he had with um, well, Bone Thugs and Harmony yeah and like, he had a handful of songs that was just okay, but I never thought he was all that great. Well, I did like the one with Bone Thugs and Harmony. He though. really wasn't. The same argument can be made for Tupac or Tupac any. Tupac was better. He was better, but he still wasn't as stellar as he's been made out to be since he died. And you know, they can when someone gets killed, they they had a sketch making fun of that on Saturday Night Live back in the '90s. The guy who used to play the musician, I can't think of his name. But he used to portray on a regular basis this musician, and they did the thing where they were going to kill him. Mm -hmm. The the um, the producers were plotting his death because they figured, oh, we don't know if we kill him, he'll really make money, <laughs> and that does happen in with musicians. They uh, they can be not that great, and then they die, and then suddenly they're like legendary. Anyway, uh, you are sideways. Yep. The, the worst, another one of their worst series, and this is Ultimates, Cortex Commander. I like how he comes with a carrier pigeon, also with a brain in a jar. <laughs> uh, and this is also 55. And satchel. This is also 55. And Killer Bat, from, again from the worst series, Killer Bat. He's got a samurai sword inside of a, uh, a baseball bat. Also 55. And like a hockey mask or something. Yeah. Well, that that's a catcher's mask. Oh, but, uh, whatever. Yeah. He's wearing uh, a samurai realization catcher's uniform. Oh, okay. How about 3-0? How about him? 3-0, again, showing that, yes, you can make sixth scale figures cheap. And this uh, Akinori... Takaki Ultraman Zero Luna, one sixth scale. One hundred and eighty. Hmm. There's your six scale figure for under two hundred dollars. A lot of hands. A lot of hands and a pike. And I know he doesn't come with a whole lot, but and if you're into Ultraman, it's not a bad price, I guess. And that's it. Okay. Did you see anything there that sparked your interest? No. That you thought, really? Mm-mm. Oh, no pops this week? No. Not this week. There is wow. no pops that I like that I say, oh, yeah, I got to go get that. Yeah, because they got you a couple of times in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, they did. And they made me say, you know, get online and start looking mm -hmm. around and this and that there. So, but no, it's nothing coming out. Okay. Mm -mm, not this week. Okay. And as for me, of course, you know, I liked the Mondo Anti-Attorney He-Man. but You didn't like the Conan? It just wasn't in the cards. No, nah, I don't want an Ultimates Conan. Mm -hmm. You know, I because I, I already passed over the line previously, mm -hmm. but I don't want an Ultimates Conan figure. I wanted a, tw a, a sixth scale, and there was supposed to be, and it was canceled. There was supposed to be a sixth scale Conan mm -hmm. based on that film, and they canceled it. Uh, and I talked about that some... Well, actually, in January, mm. we did a video of the most disappointing uh, cancellations of the year, and that was on the list. Oh, okay. The Hush Poison Ivy looks pretty interesting. Mm. I like uh, the uh, the way the coloring brings out the details, although you're right, there is really, really deep grooves in those shoulder joints. Yeah, if you got that and review it, all we'll hear about is those seams and seams yeah. and seams. <laughs> oh, yeah? You think so? Mm -hmm. You don't know nothing. Mm. Anyways, I'll throw it back out there. Hey, guys, did you see anything that you liked? Tell us about it in the comment section down below. Let us know what's going to hurt your wallet or is your wallet safe hmm. for another week. Uh, join us Saturday, Saturday, this 26th at 7, or depending upon if you're watching it tonight or tomorrow, this, the 26th, Saturday at 7 p.m., and we're going to be doing a live chat interview with comic collector geek yeah 
And then, of course, the toy swap, toy swap, toy swap, swap. meet in Powder Springs on the third next week, and then the Conyers Toy Show December fourth. So, if that's it, then what more can we say? But thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon.